Hey guys, what's going on? I'm out at the range, Tallgrass Shooting Sports. You know that's where I shoot. And uh, I'm just finishing up out here doing some EDC stuff. And probably not something that you guys would expect me to be doing, or maybe you do, I don't know. But I am working on drawing from concealment because I have a new piece of kit when it comes to uh, what I normally wear on a daily basis. And that kit is this jacket. But before we get into that, I wanted to run through my EDC stuff real quick. Naturally, I've got the SIG P365, and I know that there's a lot of controversy with this pistol, but I've had good success with it. Got about a thousand rounds through it and no problems so far, so I'm really happy with that. I've got it teamed up with a Wolf Hollow Tactical inside the waistband holster, and this thing is really, really nice. It's extremely thin. The uh, retention on this is really good. And then it's got this ulti clip, which is something I really do like as well because I use this uh, a lot for my gym carry. So if I'm in like sweatpants, I can just clip it in to my sweatpants, pull the drawstring really tight, and I'm good to go. And that's something I really do like. Naturally, I've got my phone with me. Phone is always with me to ensure that I can call for help if I need it. Uh, also have an ABKT. American Buffalo Knife. Uh, got this through Tac Pack. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Tac Pack and the subscription box, you guys should check that out. They would make a great gift with Christmas coming up here pretty soon. So that's pretty cool. And then I also have my uh, rats tourniquet here. Now, carry this in my pocket all the time. And you may be wondering why are you carrying a rats and not a cats? Well, because I have a 10 year old daughter. Rats work very well for uh, kids. Um, arms and legs so that's why I carry it with me all the time and then I have cats with me in the truck as well so at the very least this will get me started uh, and get me on my phone call the paramedics and get some help out as well but the last piece of kit that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this jacket this is the battle element soft shell jacket from Agalite they went ahead and sent one out to me uh, to take a look at it because to be frankly honest with you here in the state of Kansas especially in autumn temperatures are going to adjust and change rather uh, about 30 degrees. Just a few days ago, it was in the low 40s over the weekend. It was into the 70s. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be back into the 40s. So these type of tightly woven um, polyurethane freaking uh, jackets, I really do like. But one of the things that I wanted to take a look at is this is a new piece of equipment. Can I draw from concealment? And so I brought it out to the range today and have been drawing from concealment all afternoon and have come to really, really enjoy it. And that's something I really did like. Naturally, this is going to be a very popular style for a lot of the jackets that are out there. So that's another great thing. This doesn't scream the tactical guy. You know, this is a style that's out there and a lot of people are wearing it as well. Uh, it does have an integrated hood in the collar and then it's got these little pieces here for your hand which are really nice as well that's pretty cool but at the end of the day it's a jacket and uh, I've really come to like it now I have some of these jackets myself in, from different companies uh, that are a little bit tighter and that's something I did like that Agalite did was that they made this just a little bit looser in my opinion for the size this is a large and it really allows me to get my draw and that's something I really did like as well now naturally anytime i want to do a review for you guys I, I try to talk about the pros and the cons as well agalite did send this to me so i'm under no obligations to say anything good bad or indifferent but i want to highlight the great things that agalite's doing but be fair to you guys as well and talk about some of the concerns that i have first and foremost is this style is fairly fairly common so you see a lot of people wearing it you can get this without the velcro on the side which is really cool but i will say that this is from an israeli company so it's going to come from israel uh, not that that's a bad thing that is not a bad thing at all but it's going to have some transit time so if you guys order this jacket um, it could take you know 10 to 14 days before you'll get it so a lot of us are used to amazon prime but um this is going to take longer than Amazon Prime would to get to you guys. That's, that's the number one thing. Um, I would be comfortable with this being just a little bit thicker. Um, it would 
kind of hamper your movement a little bit, but it does have a fleece lining. I really do like that, but I would like to see that fleece maybe a little bit thicker. Right now it's in uh, the 50s and the temperature's dropping. I'm perfectly comfortable with this jacket on and uh, so being warm in it, it's not going to be a problem. It's just me, I'd like to have a little bit more fleece lining, but that's just personal preference, I think. At the end of the day, I really like it. It's my new favorite jacket and I've been wearing it every day for the last couple of weeks since I got it. And I wanted to get it out to the range to do some live fire conceal draws with me wearing this. I've done some um, draws at home, just dry fires type stuff, but I wanted to get out here and see what it was going to be like wearing this. So uh, there you have it, the Agalite soft sale jacket. You guys should check it out. I've got a link down in the description below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just a product that they reached out to me to take a look at. Wanted to share it with you guys because it's my new favorite and, <laughs> and I wanted to let you guys know about it. So with that being said, we're going to get out of here. Question for you guys, what are you doing for your EDC, especially as the cooler weather is coming around? Jackets, hoodies, coats, you guys changing your EDC plan around a little bit? And if you are, are you doing the necessary training to ensure that you're still as lethal as you can be to protect yourself, your family, and your loved ones? Sound off in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what you have to say. With that being said, we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by. Sure do appreciate it. Patreon peeps, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You guys are crushing it. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you later. Bye, y'all.